Well, it's unlikely to abate um, until and unless there are actual concrete signs of the problem being quelled. You know, and we have no idea at this point of time how far the virus could proliferate. Um, so, uh, you know, it would in the short term have an impact on the markets as we have seen today and also on the economies. And it would uh, obviously be more accentuated, more pronounced in North Asia, particularly in the greater China region. But, um, you know, it would have some impact on South Asia and other parts of the emerging markets as well. So it is something that we have to, uh, you know, sort of bear with for the time being. There's no other option, really. You know, either way, though, you say coronavirus hasn't necessarily changed your view on Asian markets and their economies. I note here you're mm -hmm. still overweight China, India, Korea, Thailand. What are some of the high conviction themes that are going to deliver a return this year, in your opinion? I would say domestic consumption. I would also point to the demand recovery for DRAM, memory and the entire tech hardware space. And finally, we're also positive on the dividend pairs, the high dividend yield companies and the companies that constantly and secularly increase the dividend per share. Um, so if one plays these three themes, there's quite a lot to choose from in the markets like China and India that you highlighted. Um, in some of the other markets, there's a focus on, on domestic infrastructure creation as well, and that's particularly in Southeast Asia. So the engineering or building materials companies over there could also benefit. You mentioned that uh, the impact of the coronavirus is likely to be short and sharp, and you've based some of your assessment yeah. on what happened following on from SARS and the fact that the market rebounded between 13 to 15%. Mm. Are you expecting something similar then to occur this time around? Usually such, um, you know, such pandemics, they tend to have a similar effect. They're obviously, they, they have an impact on the economy and the market while the proliferation is rapid, which is the phase that we are in now. But as soon as they're quelled and the, you know, the, the spread is stopped, um, they, the market tends to go back to the earlier levels, um, partly because the economic impact is temporary and much of the economic activity is postponed but not permanently lost. You know, so I don't expect this episode to be different. Um, in fact, I would say that uh, the, the medical facilities, the uh, diagnosis, etc., these are way more advanced today than they were 17 years ago. Um, so yes, I would think that the impact would be short and sharp. For long-term investors who are in this market for one year, two or three years, um, I think that if they kind of bear with this present phase, they would see their investments coming back to uh, you know, the, the, the pre-crisis levels.